Hello everyone, I'm Anasai Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to set up a fully modded 5M server in possibly the easiest and quickest way possible using my website, HT Network. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install our Cubicle Platinum Pro package onto one of our VPSs. There is a link to both of these down in the description below. Now, you don't need both. You only need one and that one being the Cubicle Platinum Pro package. This is the actual 5M server which comes with our 200 plus mods that get automatically installed for you using our custom in-house developed exclusive to HG Network auto installer application, which on this page you can preview right here. Now this package can be installed on your own PC without the need of hosting if you want, if you're just playing with a couple of friends or maybe by yourself. Or as an alternative, you can also get hosting from us right here. We sell game server hosting and our packages will also work on here as well. Our game server hosting is slightly different to the rest as we sell Windows VPSs. It's literally a virtual Windows PC. So you get none of the negatives of cloud hosting, which is the most common form of 5M hosting. You literally get a virtual Windows PC. So you're already familiar with it and you actually get zero restrictions. You could even run a Minecraft server on it as well as your 5M server. With the server hosting, you can also upgrade from the minimum plan all the way to the top plan if you need to. I would always suggest starting from maybe the minimum Gameflex plan if you're not sure what you're going to do in the future. And then if you need to upgrade as you go along and as your 5M server needs increases, because you can always upgrade this exact same VPS with no data loss with better system specifications. So once you have got both either the VPS and the package or just the package, we then need to go into our account, come find the package in our products and services and simply go to downloads and download the latest version of the Cubicore Platinum Pro package. Minimize to the desktop of either your own PC or your HDMI VPS and make sure your package is on the desktop. From here, all you need to do is open the package on up and you can actually see we do include a provided video guide also made by me. But since you guys probably won't see that unless you buy the package, this is why I'm doing this video. What you guys want to do is grab both the Cubicle Platinum Pro installer.exe and our framework folder and simply drag and drop it onto our desktop like so. Once they're on a desktop, we'll just minimize the zip download because we don't need that anymore. And what we're going to want to do is double click the Cubicle Platinum Pro.exe to open it on up. It's going to pop up with a wizard. Just click next. Make a note of where it installs the application just in case you need to delete it or whatever. And then just click next. Create a desktop icon next and let it automatically install our application for you. Once the application has downloaded, you'll see it'll create a shortcut on your desktop for the application. We'll just delete the Cubicle Platinum Pro installer.exe off our desktop so we don't get confused. And so we know this is the actual correct thing we need to use to actually open that application on up. So to do that, self-explanatory, just double click the application to open it on up. And you will see it'll pop up with the first screen of the HD Network Bill application. It's going to ask for your product key. So to do this, we're going to come back on over to the HD Network website. We're going to go to our product area again for the Cubicle Platinum Pro package. Come on over to view keys. And we're simply going to grab our key from the website. Control C come back over to the application and paste in that key. And then all we need to do is hit verify. It's going to automatically verify and then it'll automatically restart the application as well for you. Just click OK, give it a couple of seconds and the application will boot back up, this time to our beautiful home screen of our application. From here, everything's pretty much automatic. So what we're going to want to do is click this button right here, the 5M artifacts button. Give this a click and it will set up all of our 5M server artifacts using the latest artifacts available to us automatically there you guys go you can see it's created a 5m server folder and it's completed from here double click the 5m server folder to open it on up go inside of server files and scroll on down and look for the fx server.exe here it is we're going to give this a double click to start the 5m server on up it's going to open a command prompt it's going to automatically open a page on your browser called txadmin it will auto fill in the code and just click link account it's going to ask you to sign in to your cfx.re account. I'm already signed in to mine. If you're not, make sure you sign in or create an account if you don't already have one. Click continue. And now it's going to ask for a backup password just in case you cannot log in to your cfx.re account. So just make yourself a memorable backup password. Agree to the rules and register. From here, it's going to bring you to a setup page where essentially you can set your server name, pick your recipe, and it will do a basic Cubicore 5 and server for us automatically with no mods. Pick a server name, anything you want. I'm going to do HDN video and then click next. The deployment type, we're going to go to popular recipes. And since we're doing a Cubicore based 5M server, as we're installing the Cubicore Platinum Pro package, we're going to select Cubicore framework. Do not mess with the data location. Click save, go to recipe deployer. 
click next. And now it's going to ask for a server registration key. All you need to do to get this is click this green hyperlink right here to take you to your cfx.re portal. It's going to ask you to sign in with the same cfx.re account that we signed into previously for our cfx.re for our TX app in. Grab yourself a key or create a key, copy the key, come back over to TX admin and paste it on in and simply hit run recipe. But before we do that, if you're on a HD network VPS, XAMPP will automatically be installed for you and it will be pinned to your hotbar. As you can see, it's right here for me. It's this orange application with a white X in the middle. Open it on up and make sure you start MySQL and Apache. If you don't have a HD network VPS and you're installing it on your own PC, make sure you do just go into Google, search for XAMPP and download the latest version of XAMPP. It's a literal simple EXE. Start the EXE on up and start MySQL and Apache. And then click run recipe. If you don't do that, it's not going to let you run recipe as there is no database for it to connect to. You'll see it's going to start setting up a very basic Kubicore Framework 5M server for us with no mods. And after that, we can let the H network application do the rest of the work for us and install all of our mods automatically. And once TX admin is done with the basic setup, it's going to pop up with a little folder in your file explorer. Close that on down to save a bit of confusion and click next. From here, it's going to show you your server.cfg, which is essentially your settings file. But no need to worry about this because the H network VPS will configure all of that for you for all the mods. Scroll on down and just click save and run server. Now it's going to run your very basic Kubicore 5M server automatically for the first time. But what you will see is it's going to say it's installing either a chat or some other mod for you. You can see here it says it's downloading and installing the webpacks. Make sure that you let this finish before shutting the server on down. So give it a couple of minutes and let it install. And there you go. Once it's done, you'll see your console will stop updating with a bunch of random warnings, etc. And it will say started resource screenshot basic. So there you go. That's how we know it's finished installing the thing we needed for it to install. And now to make sure things are nice and smooth, we don't get any lag. We'll just close the 5 server on down by clicking stop server on TX admin. Now we're going to minimize back to our desktop. We're going to minimize our 5 server console. Don't close it for now. And we'll minimize anything else in our way, just so we can see the HG network application. From here, what you guys are going to want to do is select our 5M server folder location. So very simply, select this bottom one right here. If you click into the application and hover over it, it does actually tell you what they all do. So select server folder, click this, go to your desktop and select that 5M server folder. Click select and the application will automatically save your 5M server folder path for any future use as well. And now we need to install the framework of our applications. So click this middle button right here, the package installer. Give it a click and it will also pop up with a file explorer window asking you to select your package folder. So go to your desktop and select the HDN Kubri framework folder. This is a framework for our 5M server. There's no mods in it. It simply sets up the basic framework for the package. Select this and click select folder. Give it a couple of seconds and it'll automatically install and place all of the things we need to into our 5M server for you. Once it's done, it will let you know by saying successfully installed the selected package. Click OK and it's going to return back to the options screen. From here, now we can do the fun part, which is installing all of our mods. So if you come over to the top one right here, which is the mods list page, this is going to be a list, well, a category list of all of the mods. If you go inside of each category, you will see all the individual mods ready to install. So this is our cubicle mods, police vehicles. You can either install each one individually by simply just clicking the button. You can see we have absolutely tons of mods. And if you go into each one, it even shows you what they are, especially for the vehicles. It's super useful as it shows you what vehicles you are installing. And the same with all of these. There's also another page here for clothing, civilian vehicles. We've got tons of civilian vehicles, some of these being badged and some of them being unbadged. So make sure you, if you do want to comply with 5M TOS, you don't install the ones which are badged, but that is it. It's really self-explanatory. If you want to install the mod, just go into the category of you want to install it and click the button. But if you want to install all of the mods, don't worry. You don't have to go through clicking them all and installing them all manually. You can simply come back on over to the settings page and click install all. We're going to click install all, and you will see it's going to start installing every single one of those mods automatically for us. And whilst this is running in the background, we may as well do a couple of things to make our life easier. So the next thing you want to do is open up that 5M server folder, go to TX data, cubicle framework, and open the server.cfg on up. And you will see a new line in our server.cfg called set token ID, and then two quotes. 
inside of this set token ID in between the quotes, we're going to want to put in our application key, the exact same one we put in earlier into the actual HG network auto install application. So minimize back to the website, grab that key again, and really simply paste it in between those two quotes, file and save. And that will make sure that the 5M server knows you do actually have the right to own some of the included HG network scripts. It stops people from sharing our packages. And now we can let our mods install. And after that, that is it. We're good to go and we're good to join our fully modded 5M server. Once the install has completed, it will let you know it's installed all of the mods. All you need to do is click OK. And it'll simply return you back to the page that you were on. But now every single one of those mods are automatically installed. So we come to our 5M server folder, go to TX data, select your Kubicore framework folder and go to resources. You will see a bunch of folders in here, a lot more than we would normally have. For example, if you go inside of LEO vehicles, you can see all of the custom law enforcement vehicles. Same with the HDN QB, which is all of our HD network QB mods. They also come with a couple of bonus features. For example, the artifacts update. This will automatically update your 5M server artifacts if you get that little warning on 5M when your 5M artifacts are updated for the latest version for you. Just click the button and it will be done. And with add admin, if we click this button, it will automatically add your friend or yourself as an admin to your 5M server for you by automatically adding in that line of code which everyone struggles with. All you need to do is enter your, your forum.cfx.re ID or your friends into here and click add ID and it will add your friend or yourself automatically as admin. Obviously, we've also got port forwarding here. If we click this button, it will automatically set all of the firewall rules that we need to make your 5M server joinable to your friends. But just like that, we have now set up a fully modded 5M server using HT Network. That is all we need to do. We can close the application on down. We can come back to TX Admin, or we can simply start our 5M server on up, and you will see all of our new mods will start loading in. And now all we need to do is join our 5M server. So once you load up 5M, if you're running it on your own PC, you will see a little option underneath play or on the side by here that says connect to server via LAN or via local host, something along those lines. And all you need to do to connect is simply click that button. Otherwise, if it doesn't say that and you are running it on your own PC, just press F8 and type connect and then local host and press enter and it will start connecting you to your 5M server running it on your own PC. Otherwise, of course, if you're using a HT network VPS, delete the local host bit and when you press F8 and type connect and then paste in your VPS IP address, which you can grab, of course, on your VPS panel on the HT network website. Paste that on in, press enter, and you will start connecting to your 5M server. And as you guys can see, we've already been greeted with the custom loading screen. After that, once you load in, you'll be greeted to the custom character select screen. Select a slot and click play. From here, make your character literally however you want i'm just going to do my name and i'll do ht for the last name obviously just set it up how you want i'm just going to really quickly fly through some settings and then all you do is click create character from here what it's going to do is spawn you in at the airport to create your character from here go through and customize your character how you want obviously you can change the hair the clothing etc i'm not going to mess around with that for now I'm just going to click confirm but if you press tab you will see we've got the custom inventory from hd network if you press m we've got the custom phone if we press the escape button and go onto the map you can see we've got tons and tons of things on our map so also if you're an admin which obviously you're going to be we've got our tx admin menu we've also got our qb core admin menu and as you guys can see when we went into our tx admin menu and we paused the map we got the custom notifications as well and also if we use our third eye, we've got the custom third eye that we've developed. And if we press F1 and hold it, we've got our custom radial menu too. That's just a really, really short, brief, quick overview of the in-game package. Hope you guys did find this video useful. I hope you guys do end up buying a HD Network package in order to make your next 5M server and maybe even consider the HD Network 5M server hosting to make sure you stay nice and secure, keep your IP off display, and also let your 5M server run 24-7. Other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.